after more than 60 years of a continuous armed political resistance war against the imperial powers, the Somali Republic was founded in 1960 by the leaders of the Somali Youth League. The southern and northern regions of modern Somalia joined in a union that rewrote the previous borders created by the imperial powers, making the Somali Republic the first country in Africa to do so. In a popular universal election, the Somali Republic elected its first president. And in 1961, the Somali parliament passed the country's first constitution. Because of its neutral politics on the international stage, the Somali Republic maintained amicable relations with the powers of the West and those of the East, and became one of the founders of the non-aligned movement. As a result, Somali leaders were frequently hosted by their counterparts in Asia, Europe, the Middle East and Latin America. Due to its strong pride for its African heritage, the Somali Republic joined other African countries in 1963 and set up the Organization of African Unity. And through the UN, pushed important legislation against the apartheid regime of South Africa. It was the only country in East Africa to recognize and establish relations with the People's Republic of China and possessed a merchant fleet that was the largest in the Islamic world. As one of the oldest Muslim nations in history, Somalia hosted the Muslim World Conference in Mogadishu. In 1964, Somali Airlines was established which became one of the continent's most successful national carriers. Fully staffed by its country's nationals, Somali Airlines became the first African carrier to be flown and maintained entirely by African pilots and mechanics. In 1964, a border war broke out between the Somali Republic and the Ethiopian Empire. Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, the Somali armed forces fought the invading Imperial Ethiopian army to a standstill and repulsed them back across the border. A peace treaty was subsequently signed in Sudan by the Ethiopian Emperor and the Somali president, ceasing all hostilities. Despite the uncertainties of war in the region, the Somali Republic placed an emphasis on education and infrastructure, setting up new schools, colleges, hospitals and factories in various parts of the country. Somali national parks boasted one of Africa's richest wildlife populations of lions, buffalo, leopards and now the globally extinct black rhino. While its ancient cities became popular tourism hubs, the Somali capital, Mogadishu, due to its uniform whitewashed buildings, was also known as the White Pearl of the Indian Ocean. Universal elections were held once again in 1967. A new president was sworn in. The smooth transition of power between the two presidents made the Somali Republic a pioneer of African democracy. The first Somali president is still regarded as a prime example of a great African statesman and politician by modern historians. <laughs>